Well, look at you, tourist. If I'd have known you were gonna cause this much trouble, but that's done. It cannot be undone. Mama's desperate. With the scale of what she's planning, no one will be spared. Good and evil no longer exist. There is only survival. Guess you ain't the only one who thrives on creating havoc. Garrick's a psycho. That bomb suit he wears, I've seen bullets just bounce right off him. Honest to God, force of nature. Perhaps you have heard the stories about me. That I am mad. That I devour human flesh. Death draws near, tourists! Everyone who trusts you winds up dead! Welcome to the revolution, tourist. People like us, you must make the difficult decisions. Are you sure you want to get caught in the middle of that mess, tourist? Oh. <laughs> Okay, and hello everybody. We're going to be doing a breakdown on the trailer for The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, Retribution, or Chapter 2 of The Saints and Sinners. So, immediately off the bat, I see a new grenade launcher type weapon. And you, it seems you have to cock it back, kind of like a shotgun. And we still have the bus. Next, you can see we still have the lift, which is really great because everybody loves the lift so if you see there's more cover that's probably going to be in the city just from this little clip and you can see that there's still hordes and walkers all around new orleans in this new area of it you can also see that shaking them off your arms is still going to be a big issue they still have the time bombs which is really nice because those have always been useful you can also see that there's a new shotgun, I believe that is, the crafted shotgun. They're also out of the suburbs and into the city. They also kept in the Wolverine Claws. They also still have the grabbing feature, and they still have the night shift, as you can see on the right side. If you look where my screen is pointing, you can see that they now have laser sights. They also have the upgraded flashlight still and the grass clipper slash katana. One of the newest features that I see right now is being able to use flares and shoot them to light them. I hope that's not the only way though. Also, day by day, the tower is slowly taking over. It also seems they were gonna be able to use silencers now. If you listened in the trailers, there's someone named Derek that's constantly wearing a bomb suit. I believe this guy up here is Derek. Also, there's gonna be a thing where you can go out at nighttime, so if you're brave enough, you can take on Saints and Sinners with nighttime. Off the bat, we have a new weapon, Uzis, which you could double wield. And also, there's a new chainsaw. Also, there seems to be a new shotgun looking grenade launcher that you can use, like this clip, shoot it off, grab it, and then throw it. There's also new gloves that you can wear to punch the walkers instead if you really feel like it. This is the chainsaw physics. It also seems that you can put the laser sights on bows. It seems that there's gonna be a hospital maybe with supplies. There are new walker falling mechanics. It seems that the reserve might make a return. There also might be a group that you can work with. It seems as though there's going to be a pawn shop, maybe for trading. 
It also seems that there's gonna be a new slip on for the gloves, a new mechanic for putting on the gloves, which is quite cool. I wonder if there's gonna be upgrades or other gloves. It seems as though the walkers could get more intelligent with trying to attack through windows, but also these gloves could come in major handy for if that is true or if it's not. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was my take on what the trailer seems and what some the gameplay is gonna be. This is super fun. It's coming out on December 1st of 2022. So in just two weeks or so, and if you want it, go get it. It might get pushed back. I really hope it doesn't. And yeah, this is The Walking Dead Sins and Sinners Retribution. Thanks for watching my breakdown.